So if you're a manufacturer of railway wheels or similar types of products, then you should listen to this technical corner. I'm with Ross Milne uh, from Ram Engineering and Tooling. Ross, we're going to be talking about the Vine Gartner range of machines, uh, the MPMC, which is a, a multi-product machining centre. Yes. But this particular variant is ideal for railway, railway wheels manufacturing, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Basically, what we've done in, in this case, we've got a main spindle and a sub spindle but both spindles are identical. Heavy duty, high powered, or in order to deal with the, the large size of the wheel and the weight of the wheel. This would normally be done on a vertical lathe. I've been to companies where they're doing these on vertical lathes. Absolutely. They talk about swarf fall away, they talk about yep. the loading. Yep. You know, having a, uh, putting a railway wheel verti on a vertical lathe like that, yep. you, you've got, you would think a very secure method of, of sure. the part's not gonna move. If you put it in a horizontal, is it gonna, you, you see all these aspects. What? Yeah. How do you overcome these objections? Very interesting that you'd ask that because we have a loading system in the back that deals with that for you. So they turn up a bunch of wheels in a rack, the loading system picks it up and puts it straight into the spindle for you. So you don't have to worry about how to load it, hanging it off a crane and so on. So we deal with that aspect for you. When you talk about swarf fall away, well, working in this orientation, the swarf literally does fall away. It can't gather in the top. So you could argue you don't need the high speed, um, sort of the, the high volume coolant to get the to get the swarf out the way that you would on a VTL. Whereas with this, it just all drops straight away. But securing it in the horizontal format, yes. I mean, it's an exaggeration, but could it not sort of droop with the, you're looking at a lot of weight yeah. here with these yeah. these products. Again, that comes down to the work holding. The work holding and, and Weingartner, they pride themselves on, on really spending time to make sure that every aspect of the machine, not just the machine, but the work holding, that right down to the jaws is the right thing for the for the for the application. We don't have problems with it. So basically we're we're loading it into one, handing it to the second spindle. There's no loss of tolerance problems. Um, so yeah, it's and that, that's where I see a big advantage to this: the fact that in the traditional method you have to take the part off the vertical lathe, yes. turn it over, yep, for the next uh, spindle, wouldn't you? Multi but here, yep. the the part is being moved from one to the other. Again, is that quite a secure process? Absolutely, absolutely. Mm. When they when they push together, um, the second spindle will grab it before the first spin, uh, spindle releases. Um, then they move away into their own compartment, if you like. Um, we have two swiveling B axis within the machine. We don't just have the one, so we're not losing any time. So what you get here, you get here. You're only you're spending half the time basically machining that wheel, but you've got a full milling B axis. So by rights, turning and milling with no compromise. And what about the actual size of the machines? Because these railway wheels, they're quite big, but can you go bigger than this? You Absolutely. Know? I mean, uh, the, the MPMC can go up to a, a two meter spindle, um, a two meter chuck as you can see here. Um, we can take up to 80 tonnes in weight and 15 metres in length. So by rights, these wheels are a fairly small item mm. for a vine gardener. Um, yeah, it, it's fascinating. What, what other applications, we're talking about the railway wheels, but is there anything else that you can think that this would fit perfectly for? What other uh, industries? Yeah, w with the two spindles? Yeah, with the two spindles. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, anything that has two operations, which most part most parts do, mm. by rights, this lends itself to um, the compressor. Where industry. it's not going to be an overkill. But let's, let's, where it's not going to be an overkill. Let's look at it like that. Because the compressor industry. Um, the compressor industry, again, the tolerances within the, the compressor um, rotors is, is very, very tight. So again, if you can not handle that part again, and you can hand it across to the second spindle easily, safely, well, and in a, in a um, rigid way, then by rights, the second side, it's going to be easier to hit the tolerances every single time. And mm. that's, that's another area where we're, we're already working in um, with head changers as well for the different types of tools that you need for that specific application. Very, very flexible solutions available from uh, RAM Engineering and Tooling. Uh, that's the Vine Gartner specifically uh, talking about that application railway wheels.